Hi everyone, I want to share with you an album that I created using the envelope pocket flip tutorial. And with that tutorial, we use number 10 envelopes like this right here. Um, it's just one of those long, slender envelopes. And a policy, a policy envelope is the same thing. They're 9.5 by 4 and an eighth. A uh, same size uh, envelope that your bills come in, so you can recycle those if you'd like. And for the paper collection, I used the Ancestry.com Cane Company matte stack paper pad. So these are four and three quarters by six and three quarter papers. And there's a nice flip through for you. I really like that pattern. So I did a nice di distressing on here so it gives it a nice antique feel. And I think with this floral pattern on the front with the deep dark browns, it has a like, sort of a Victorian look and feel to it, which I really love. I added some crocheted lace here that I distressed. It has a nice rounded spine here. I like that as well. Nice deep dark edges. Open it up, has nice distressing here. So the envelopes make the pockets and then we use different cardstock styles to um, make the base of the page. So like you can see here, I have cardstock here on the back, and then I have this piece attached, which actually makes it is made from an envelope. And then this pocket here is an envelope, which makes a pocket on the back made from the envelope as well. So two envelopes made this one page. It also creates a hidden binding. And these are full size pockets, so you can put full size four by six photos in there. And in here I just divided the pocket with a brad to make two wallet size photo mats there. And then on the back, I have a full size pocket too. And the binding for this is also the expandable spine. I used some frames from the Ancestry.com collection. They're embossed frames, and I put them in here so pictures can go underneath. Wrap it up, and then this one you can see is a different kind of cardstock base where it just it's a simple cardstock. The envelope's attached here and has a flip out, so you can put a picture here. And then this has a pocket, and this pocket's done up in a diagonal. So there's seven different ways you can do use your envelopes to make different pockets. So seven different pockets, and then uh, for the cardstock bases, there's four different styles to make different and that just makes different page styles like this one here this one doesn't have a flip at all and it also only has a pocket on one side rather than on both sides like this one here has a pocket on both sides and this the way I did up this album is really simple compared to the other one I shared a little while back um, but you can do it up uh, as complex or as simple as you'd like using the different styles that is your choice. So I have another frame here for a photo and another flip out photo right here. Diagonal pocket again. Diagonal pocket on the back. I have a flip piece here with the wallet size photo pockets there. I have a pocket here and a pocket on the back. And that completes the album. I'll go ahead and show you this one here. This is the one I showed previously. And you can see this one has a few different pocket styles, like this one. This is called the Anywhere Pocket because it can go anywhere in the album. So this is kind of its own little page here. And then there's a page here. It has wallet size pockets on both sides. And then using the envelopes, I also made a flip, that a vertical flip. So have that there. And you can also do... Uh, like a horizontal or a double vertical flip. So this one is a double, and there is that small anywhere flip pocket there. So you can see this album uses the same tutorial, but it's a lot different than this one. So there's a lot of things you can do. This one's definitely a lot simpler, and this one's more complex with uh, the page styles. But either way, it holds a lot of a lot of pictures in there, and you can just have a lot of fun and customize it however you want. Anyway, so that is the Envelope Pocket Flip album tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you go check it out at jmbdesigns.com.